Hi everyone, welcome back for some more zoo art. Today we are going to paint, see if you can figure out what animal this is. If you said giraffe, you are right. Um, now the way I'm getting these outlines, I'm just Googling outline of a giraffe or outline of a zebra and just choosing one that I like and printing it off. I think that's the easiest way. Um, I chose this giraffe outline because it has nice thick spaces, so nice wide spaces. I think it's going to be easy to paint. So this is the one that I chose. Now giraffes all have a different pattern of spots. No two giraffes have the same spot pattern. So our giraffes are all going to look different too. Same with zebras. Their stripe patterns are all different. Everyone is different, just like our Fingerprints are all different or unique. That means no two are alike. Same with giraffes and zebras. And you would think that their patterns make them stand out um, when they're in the wild, but actually no, it helps them to blend in. Um, it's really kind of unusual to think that, um, that where they live, patterns like that would help them blend in, but it does. So we're gonna paint this giraffe. Um, I am using brown paint. You don't have to use brown paint. You can use any color that you like because remember giraffes are all different and so our giraffes are going to all look different. So what I did, I wanted to paint my giraffe with circles and so I went on a circle scavenger hunt in my house and found all different kinds of things that I'm going to be able to dip in my paint and make circles on my giraffe. Maybe you don't want to do circles. Maybe you want to use a different kind of shape, and that's okay. Look around your house and see what kinds of things you can use. We're going to be stamping. So um, again, this is another example of process art. It's not so much that we're trying to get a realistic picture of a giraffe, but more we're experimenting with stamping and shapes and even colors if you want to. Um, it's more about eye-hand coordination and, and getting those stamps in a particular spot. So um, your giraffe is gonna look maybe completely different from an actual giraffe. Okay, I'm gonna move my camera a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. When I was setting this up, my camera kept falling over. I thought, oh dear. Um, and I'll hold it up too. Let me turn it around so you can see. So here's my giraffe, and like I said, I decided to do mine with circles, so I went on a circle scavenger hunt. Of course, the easiest thing was a Q-tip, and I'm just going to dip that in my paint, and I'm just going to make some Q-tip dots, and see, I can see right now that you can't see what I'm doing, so I will hold it up, and there's some Q-tip dots. I found some other circle things too. I found this old earring that I don't think I'm ever going to wear again, so I'm going to dip it in my paint and I'm going to see what kind of print that's going to make on my giraffe. Let's see. Whoops, it doesn't want to come up. Okay, so here's what the earring looked like when it was dipped in. That made a big dot. Um, I am using one of our sticks from our natural play yesterday. Let's see, I'm going to make a few of those. Well, that looks a lot like the Q-tip, doesn't it? You know what? I think I'm going to make a few more earring dots, too. I like those big dots. I think they're going to look nice mixed in with the little dots. You, if you have too much paint, you can always... I'm using a lid, by the way, for my paint. You can always kind of scrape it on the edge if you feel like you have too much. There we go. Um, here are some other circle things that I found. I found this great big bolt. I thought that would be cool. So I'm gonna use that. You can use either end of that one. Okay, let me show you what it's looking like. I'm getting, getting some big dots, some small dots. I found this bottle of nail polish. I thought, ooh, that'll be good. It even has some letters in the top, so I don't know if those are gonna show up in my stamp or not. That would really be unique for a giraffe. Oh, the letters are not showing up. That's okay. There we go. 
My giraffe is looking good. What else did I find for a circle? I found this cap to something. I'm not sure what it's the lid to. It's a lid to something. I'm going to dip that in. I tried to find all different sizes of circles. So that's how I came up with different things. Some are coming out circles, some are not. And you know what? That's okay because when you look at a giraffe, their um, spots are not actually perfect circles. They're all kinds of different shapes. I just thought I would make a circle scavenger hunt in my house just to help me um, practice finding circles. Let's see. So this is a pencil. I use the eraser of a pencil. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like, how we're coming along. Oh, it's looking good. Um, what else? Oh, I found a glue stick. I thought this would be good. And again, it doesn't have to be circles because giraffe spots are all different shapes. Let's see. I'll put one over here. And I found this seashell. I thought I could use this seashell too. Now that's not really going to be a circle either, but I just thought it would be a cool shape. I'll have to pick that one up for you to see when it's done. So a lot of fine motor work here, a lot of eye-hand coordination going on. And I found this marker. This is actually the marker I used to write down the date. I'm going to use this little tip right here. We'll fill in our last few spots. <laughs> it looks like he has a little face. So there's my giraffe. Um, again, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. You can use different shapes if you want to. Um, I, like I said, I turned it into a, a circle scavenger hunt, went around my house and looked for circles and then decided to use those. Um, you can use all different colors. You can mix the colors or overlap them. Lots of fun. When you get done, I would love to see, I love how this kind of turned out like a face. I would love to see your giraffes when you get done. After it dries, you can cut it out and maybe put it on another piece of paper. Um, and I would love to see your creation when you get done. Bye, everybody.